Welcome to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to use multiple subdomain names with single load balancer. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing what is load balancer? What is application load balancer? What is target groups? What is Route 53? How to use multiple subdomain names with single load balancer? Use cases. Reducing AWS load balancer costs. A customer reached out to us to help lower their AWS expenses. Upon reviewing the environment, we discovered that the customer was using a separate load balancer for each of their five subdomains. We set up a single application load balancer with AWS host-based routing to direct all five subdomains to their designated target groups. This allowed us to decrease the number of load balancers from five to one, resulting in a reduction of the ALB cost from $100 per month to $20 per month. Should you require help in performing this step? Please feel to contact us in the email mentioned. Contact at easydeploy.io. Prerequisites. AWS account. AWS account with Elastic Load Balancer and Route 53 full access. Basic knowledge about ELB and Route 53. What is Load Balancer? A load balancer is a managed service that automatically distributes incoming application or network traffic across multiple targets, such as Amazon EC2 instances, containers, IP addresses, or Lambda functions. AWS offers several types of load balancers to suit different use cases. 1. Classic Load Balancer 2. Application Load Balancer 3. Network Load Balancer 4. Gateway Load Balancer AWS Load Balancers offer features such as health checks, SSL termination, session persistence, and integration with other AWS services, making them an integral part of building scalable, fault-tolerant, and high-performance architectures in the AWS cloud environment. What is Application Load Balancer? Application Load Balancer is a type of load balancer that operates at the application layer of the OSI model. It is designed to handle HTTP and HTTPS traffic and provides advanced routing and load balancing features that are well-suited for modern web applications. Application Load Balancer is a powerful tool for distributing incoming HTTP and HTTPS traffic across multiple targets, providing high availability, scalability, and advanced routing capabilities for modern web applications deployed on AWS. What is Target Groups? A target group is a logical grouping of targets that are registered with a load balancer. These targets can be resources such as EC2 instances, IP addresses, or Lambda functions. Target groups are an essential part of the elastic load balancing service provided by AWS, facilitating the distribution of incoming traffic from the load balancer to the registered targets based on configured rules and health checks. What is Route 53? Amazon Route 53 is a scalable and highly available domain name system web service provided by Amazon Web Services. It enables developers and businesses to route end users to various AWS services or other endpoints by translating domain names into IP addresses. Route 53 offers several features and functionalities that help with DNS management, domain registration, and traffic routing. 1. Domain Registration 2. DNS Management 3. Health Checks 4. Traffic Routing 5. DNS Failover 6. Integration with AWS Services How to use multiple subdomain names with single load balancer Search for EC2 I have already created two instances. One is Apache server and other one is Jinx server. Now we can check whether the Jinx server is running or not. Copy the public IP of this instance and search for the server. The Jinx web server is running. Now we can check whether the Apache is running or not. 
copy the public IP and search for the server. Apache is successfully running. Now we should create a target group. Click Create Target Group. As we are working in instances, we should choose instance as a target type. Give target group a name. I am selecting protocol as HTTP and port 80. You can input the ones matching your needs. Here I am selecting IP address type as IPv4. If you already have VPC, select that VPC, otherwise select default one. If you already have a path, give that one. Else you don't need to mention a path. Select the server which you want to connect with target group. Click on include as pending below. Now create target group. Now we should create another target group for second instance. Fill the target group name. I am selecting protocol port as HTTP and 80. You can select as per your needs. I am selecting IP address type as IPv4. You can choose yours. Now click on the server which you want to connect it with target group and click include pending as below. Click create target group. Now the second target group has been created. Click on load balancer and click create load balancer. Here we are creating application load balancer because we can create path-based routing and it will support HTTP and HTTPS protocol. Give load balancer a name. We should select internet facing. We can access it publicly on internet if we choose internet facing. IP address should be IPv4. If we already created a VPC, we can give that otherwise select default VPC. Here we should select at least two availability zone. If you already created security groups, you can choose that one. In listeners otherwise, and routing, you can select we are in selecting one. HTTP protocol. If you need HTTPS, you can also include HTTPS as protocol. We can select one target group. This will be your default target group. I am not going to explain this as it is not a part of this demo. Now click Create Load Balancer. Now the load balancer is in provisioning state. Load balancer is active now. Now click on the listeners and rules protocol port. Now add a new rule. Type name for the rule. Click next. Click on add conditions. I am selecting host header as we want to route traffic based on host header. In value, I am giving subdomain of the main domain, which I am going to create in Route 53, and this one is Apache Target Group. Now click Confirm. Click Next to continue. Select the target group of the Apache server. Click Next. We can give priority number on our own choice. Click on Next. Click Create. Now first rule is created. Next we should create another rule for second server that is Jinx. Click Add Rule. Give second rule a name. Click Next. Click on Add Condition. I am selecting Host Header as we want to route traffic based on Host Header. We should give the subdomain name of our main domain here. Click Confirm. Click Next. 
Add the target group of our second web server that is Nginx. Click Next. We can give how many priority we want that is our own choice. Click Next. Now click Create. Now our second rule is created. Search for Route 53. Click on Hosted Zone. This is our main domain, which we purchased from another website. Now click Create Record. Give record name. This record name is our subdomain name, which we have given in host header while adding a rule in target group. Don't change the default record type. Enable the alias. Choose endpoint as application and classic load balancer. Choose Virginia as region. Because the load balancer we created is present in this region. Select the load balancer name which we created and click Create Records. One change in the record. We don't need to add easydeploy.biz which is our main domain as it already added while creating a record. Click Save. Now we want to create a new record for our second server. This is our second subdomain. Give record name. Enable the alias. Choose Endpoint as Application and Classic Load Balancer. Choose Virginia as Region as we created Load Balancer on this region. Select the Load Balancer name which we created and Create Records. We have created two records, that is two subdomains of the main domain easydeploy.biz. Now we can check whether the subdomains are working, Copy the public IP of the Apache subdomain and search for the domain. We can see that the Apache subdomain is working. Now we can check whether the Jinx subdomain is working. Copy the Jinx subdomain IP and search for it. We can see that the Jinx subdomain is working. Conclusion. We have seen. What is load balancer? What is application load balancer? What is target groups? What is Route 53? How to use multiple subdomain names with single load balancer? Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.